Hey, BookTube. Super hyper. Been drinking um, urine, Mountain Dew. That's way more Mountain Dew than any person should ever drink. <sighs> anyway. Um, I'm going to be doing the um, book hoarder tag. Is that what it's called? Why am I second guessing myself now? I don't know. But it's a book hoarder tag. It's a tag about hoarding books. Um, and Biblio Atlas was the first one to do this. <clears throat> and then Steve did it this morning and tagged me in it. Thank you, sir. Steve Donahue. Um, when I was watching Steve's video, the whole time I was like, oh my God, please tag me. Please tag me in this. This is such a good tag. Please tag me in this. Boom. Here we are. I'm very excited. Um, so let's get to it. Um, a book you should get rid of, but have trouble for some reason. Now, this is number one. The answer to this is kind of weird, maybe, but this is it. Um, one is Poppy Z. Bright's Lost Souls, and Exquisite Corpse is somewhere in the garage. I have to find the box of books that has that in it. And um, Ring, um, the book that the, look, that cover is freaking amazing. The reason why is because these are books that I did not buy and they're in my house. And I don't know exactly who let me borrow them or who left them at my house or what. But um, I always have this fear if I get rid of them, um, the day I get rid of them, they're going to show up and say, where's that book I let you borrow 10 years ago? So I guess I'm just kind of holding on to them um, out of reasons of guilt. So, number two, compulsive collecting. What book or edition would you covet or dream of owning? A rare book signed first edition, some other trophy find. Well, um, this isn't um, exactly, well, I guess it is. Um, basically, any Carter Brown book I find, I buy. Um even if I already have it, because sometimes the covers are a bit different. Um, but I love Carter Brown, so finding his stuff anywhere is always worth it. Um, I'm trying to collect all the um, Fawcett gold medal books, and there's like over a thousand, and I'm nowhere near that. But... Um, I at least want to get like the ones that look like this with the gold or with the yellow spine because they did faucet gold metal like in the seventies and stuff up through the eighties, I think. Um, but they didn't have the original look to them. So those Nick Carter, um, there's like 270, I think, Nick Carter books, and I don't have nearly that many, but I would like to collect them all. And the funny thing is, when I collect stuff, once I have the full collection of something, I generally get rid of it then, because it's not exciting anymore. Like, the fun is the hunt kind of thing, and once you get all of them, it's like, well, what the fuck do I do now? Um, another one, though, is uh, I, the Jury. I have a few copies of this. Um, this one is the 36th pr printing of it. Um, this book sold like crazy when it came out. Not in hardback, but when it came out in paperback. Um... It just went boom, 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 boom. And they just kept putting it out, kept putting it out. Um, so there are just tons 
a variance of this book, and I would love to get as many of those as I can. And it's a good book, so that's okay. Let's see what's next. Um, Safety Among Clutter. What books make you feel cozy? Boom. Frankenstein. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas by Hunter S. Thompson. I wish I had an older copy of this. This one's okay. I like it. It has all the pictures, the um, Ralph Stepman drawings in it and stuff. And last but not least, Breakfast of Champions. And lately, this book's been getting kind of a lot of hate on BookTube. And I don't fucking get it. This book is amazing all the way around. And um, then there were some, I saw some reviews of it where people were saying stuff like, um, oh, what did that girl say? I don't even remember what channel it was, but she said, um, there's this guy who read a book and thinks that everyone's a robot. And like, I remember that happening, but that wasn't even like a part of the book. And I'm like, what the hell? So, um, I don't know. I just, I feel like <sighs> Breakfast of Champions is amazing. If you don't know what it's about, I'm going to tell you a little bit. Um, one of his, uh, Breakfast of Champions is Vintage Vonnegut. One of his favorite characters, Agent Writer Kilgore Trout finds to his horror that a Midwest car dealer is taking his fiction as truth. The result is murderously funny satire as Vonnegut looks at war, sex, racism, success, politics, and pollution in America and reminds us how we see the truth. Um, I wish there was a better description. but um, And then in the beginning of... Oh, no, I got some water damage on this. Look at that. Sorry, guys. Um, and these editions, I don't know about the newer editions that are gorgeous that I want to get all of. But all of the books from this run um, have these great like prefaces by Vonnegut. Um, and I assume they're in older ones as well. But those are almost better than the books. But that book is so good. I don't know why people don't like it. So... If you're one of the people that don't like it, tell me below why you don't like it. Um, oh, don't touch my stuff. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Nostalgic Memories. What book has a story how you got it? Um, blah, blah, blah. Explain. Um, okay, the first thing is... This is the first comic book I ever bought. It's a um, Marvel team-up with Spider-Man and Man-Thing from 82 and I got it at the Circle K that's in Cypress, California. It's not there anymore, obviously, but um, it was near the corner of Orange and Valley View. So if any of y'all remember that, um, Southern California, back in 82, there was a Circle K there. And it was back when comic books were on stands inside stores. I don't know why the hell they can't do that anymore. Stupid comic stores. Anyway, um, this comic book just blew my mind. Um, it's amazing. Um, I love it. And then on the, I have uh, the day Gwen Stacy died on the back there. Um, they're sharing a, a baggie. Um, but as a book, um, this chunker, Shaky, the Neil Young biography. Um, this book, I got this when I stopped doing band stuff and I was doing like solo acoustic shows and stuff and um it was like early 2000s um there were like there was this bar in Huntington Beach that I had a night at every month and um two different coffee houses one in 
Costa Mesa and one in wasn't Fuller Fountain Valley um, where I had a night every week and then I did an open mic night too and um, I was just playing all over the place recording every chance I got giving stuff away going to Hollywood um, just giving CDs out and all that other jazz but um, I got this during that period and um, Neil Young is definitely an acquired taste and I don't even like all, most of his stuff but there's an, like a period of stuff of his that I love but um, there's more of his stuff that I don't like than the stuff that I love but this book goes into him and how he did things and kind of what his outlook was on a lot of stuff and how he kept like bucking the system and fucking up and still doing well kind of thing so it was very inspirational to me um at the time it's by jimmy mcdonough um it's great like if you even like neil young a little bit or if you're an aspiring musician or whatever like this is Definitely. I used to have, this is back in the day when walking around with messenger bags was cool as shit, but I would always have these two in my messenger bag. So they were in the bottom of my bag and a bunch of other shit was on top. So it, all of the many coffee houses that I spent time at, um, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, uh, don't touch my stuff. Uh, what book will you not lend out? Or have a fear of losing treasure the most. Um, I'm going to kind of give the same answer that um, Steve gave on this one. I don't lend books out anymore. and um, Because you don't get them back. And so um, I'll either... like This is exactly what Steve said. I either say no or I just give it to him. Because I know I'm never going to see it. So, um, and a lot of times it's cool because if it's, uh, edition that is so fucking beat up that I really actually need another one, um, like not yet, but this breakfast of champions is getting pretty fucking close to the, the old, uh, recycling plant or whatever. Okay. Uh, procrastination, anxiety, quirky personality, what book is so delicious that you've canceled plans to read it? And that would be this book that I just finished. Um, Donald Westlake's Forever and a Death. Um, I spent all day yesterday reading it. And um, I won't say exactly what plans I broke. And then I finished it today. But um, it had to do with video games. So, uh, but yeah, like, I was just so into it that I, I needed, I needed to finish it. So that was that. And then, impulsive buying, oh Jesus, um, impulsive buying, like, uh, what book did you buy completely unplanned and on a whim? Every time me and Zoe go to the dollar store, I am fucked if there's new books up. And it's almost become a habit now. It's like if we're going to go to the dollar store, we know we need to have like an extra 10 bucks because we're going to get books. So um, the dollar store books have been working better for Zoe than for me. But I haven't, like, I'll pick them up, but then I'm trying to think if there's any that I was really excited about. We actually have three book hauls that we haven't recorded yet because Zoe caught that cold that I had. Um, and so she's, like, coughing every two seconds. So, um, so yeah. But, I mean, honestly, if it's on a whim kind of thing... It's never more than 10 bucks. Like, that's my limit. And I'm talking, like, there's thrift stores and stuff where the books are 25 cents. 
Um, and 10 bucks is the limit. I will not go any higher than that. But anyway, so that was the book hoarder tag. And I have some people I want to tag because I've noticed they have a shit ton of books. And the books that they have, I like when I see them on the shelves. So, um, first off, Knowledge Lost, uh, Secondhand Shan, Seven Days at Sea, From the Dusty Bookshelf, Shades of Orange, and then two channels that I just started watching, um, Craving Books and Rachel Louise Akin. You guys are all tagged. I want to know all about your book hoarding habits. Um, so, uh, I'm going to say I'm going to leave some stuff in the description below, but I'm probably not going to do it. Um, I always forget. But, another thing, real quick, um, the other night, last night, me and Zoe sat down to watch some booktube and the majority of the people we're subscribed to did not have a video up. And I'm like, what the F? So today, um, I'm going to try to record as many videos as possible. So there's a backlog. Okay? So until next time, keep hoarding, everybody.